This is a video walkthrough of BatDoc, a highly customizable Android application developed by the Air Force Research Laboratory to wirelessly monitor and document multiple patients' care. BatDoc provides a wealth of functionality that can be broken down into six categories. Those categories are assessment of patient care, documentation of patient care, collaboration between medical providers, medical reference material, coordination of evacuation, and transfer of patients and their data. The first subcategory, assessment, is built around BATDOC's ability to connect to third-party FDA-approved vitals monitoring devices. After adding a patient to the home screen, BATDOC has incorporated multiple different ways to quickly and seamlessly pair, to sens pair sensors to the device. The first way is to scan a QR code on the back of a sensor. and momentarily vitals will start streaming for that patient. BATOC has also integrated NFC tags allowing the user to simply touch the sensor to the phone, select the patient they want those vitals to stream for, and momentarily vitals will start streaming for that patient as well. BATOC can handle multiple patients and gives providers the ability to assign triage color to those patients and automatically sorts to allow providers to focus on the most critical patients. Providers can also set thresholds for individual patients to get alerted if the patient falls outside a desired level, further allowing them to focus on immediate patient care tasks. Assessment is additionally supported by displaying vitals over time so that medics can see the effect of interventions and treatments in their patient's health as well as quickly determine if the patients are trending in a positive or negative direction. Smart watches are also integrated to show patient vitals in a hands-free form factor that allows providers to focus on care while still receiving alerts if patients fall outside of predefined thresholds. Documentation of patient care is accomplished by selecting a patient and jumping directly into their documentation. You're able to mark locations of mechanisms of injury. You can do free form drawings to show larger areas, placing tourniquets, and then jumping directly into the signs and symptoms tab. This tab allows a medic to semi-autonomously place patient vitals onto their documentation forms. It pulls vitals directly from the connected wireless sensors, which can be edited as needed. It also has the ability to add vitals in a given time interval as required by the patient's level of criticality. Treatments are simple gestures, touching the buttons, medicines are added very simply with an easy to find dialogue that can handle whatever meds are in the medic's bag. BATOC has also integrated NFCs with its medicines to allow a user to place an NFC, define what the medicine is, and thereby just touching the med to the back of the phone and giving an accurate timestamp and medicine type. They can later go in and add the routes and dosages, but the timestamp stays consistent. The events tab allows for the user to see exactly what happened at what time. It is a time history of all the care that has been given to the patient. Times can be edited and the list immediately racks and stacks those events. Documentation is further enhanced by giving medics the ability to take images and saving those images in the patient's archive. Collaboration is accomplished by networking multiple BATDOC systems together either through team networks, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. BATDOC synchronizes all patients being treated and all their associated documentation. This allows for care to be started by one provider and seamlessly continued by all other providers on the network. Documentation by one medic displays real time on all other BATDOC systems.
That doc also contains a large amount of medical reference material saved in the med cards. This allows medics to quickly remember protocols and overviews of different types of care without having to look in their handbooks. This is a user-definable list. Any PDF or Word document or images can be saved for quick access. It also has interactive calculators. There is an increased number of medical documentation that can be added and attached to specific patients from the medical cards as well. Team coordination is accomplished through a team lead module that allows medics to plan the evacuation of patients onto which platforms they will be on and sends a message to all other medics on the network of which patients are outbound. The final step of patient care is the transfer of a patient's documentation to the next level of care. BatDoc displays a quick handoff view that gives a brief overview of all the patient care that had been done up to this point. It helps medics quickly and accurately communicate when handing off a patient. QR codes have been utilized to encode patient documentation for air gap between devices and be able to pass off that information. NFC tags can also be used to write patient documentation and be read in to another device. When a paper copy is needed, BatDoc has integrated Bluetooth printers that simply touch your device to the printer. BatDoc does all the pairing needed. After selecting print, a hard copy is printed on the Bluetooth printer. A Windows as well as iOS applications have been created to scan patient documentation.